Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Nice Thursday morning. A few clouds in the sky. Temperatures all around 80 degrees. Looking at a high today of around 90. Great colors out here, isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous colors. Absolutely beautiful out here this morning. The water's got a kind of a wild looking color, an aqua color to it this morning, instead of that blue or green that we're used to seeing. This is going to be my last beach walk for a couple weeks here. I won't be back until after the 4th of July, by July 6th. It's not going to be a long beach walk this morning. I got a lot of loose ends I got to tie up before I head out for vacation. Hopefully, I'll get to see Roy. He's not here. I can see his car in the parking lot, so I don't know what he's up to. I know he's been busy getting the putting the finishing touches on his book trying to get that finished I heard he's gonna put it on Amazon as well so I'll try to keep everybody updated with that nice little breeze blowing here keeping the bugs away keeping the no seams away Looks like a little, maybe a little baby ghost crab down there. I don't know if it's alive. Nope. Oh yeah. Huh. It was just, where'd he go? I lost him in all this dark stuff down here. There he is, right there. See him, that little crab? Nice. Not very feisty. Huh. I wonder what we got out here. Got any shells? I have no idea how many sea turtle nests there are on the beach now. I was chatting with one of my ranger friends the other night. She had no idea been out on the beach. She's been stuck up at the front gate. Ooh, really breezy out here. The tide's on its way in here. Less than a couple hours away from high tide. Lots of little shells along here. Maybe we'll get lucky this Oh, wow. Another morning with just piles of worm shells. Piles of them. Piles and piles of worm shells here. There's just two of them. There's probably 20 down here. There's two kind of nice ones. They're everywhere this morning. Three nice little worm shells. gonna walk down the beach just a little bit here see if we get lucky and find something neat
Boy, lots of little shells, but nothing's jumping out at me yet. A lot of, I've seen some broken whelk shells already, quite a few broken whelks. broken shells. Little kitten's paw. Kitten's paw shell. Well, and then all of a sudden the shells stop. Look at that. Boop, they come to an end. I see a ranger way down at the end of the park doing his morning beach patrol. Hopefully there's some new sea turtle nests on the beach. Seems like the turtles are coming, crawling up on the, the beach at the south end of the park lately. All this dredging that's going on at the north end, I think that's spooking them, spooking them away off the north end of the beach. Beautiful here. I'm going to give you a quick look around. Interesting color. The water's got that interesting aqua color this morning. Beautiful as we look to the north. Sun's just starting to come up over the trees there. As I pan around, you can see it right down in there. Sun's right over there. It's to the right. I'm going to turn around and start walking the other way. The shelling's usually better up in a little further up the beach around Area 4. There's a nice white jewel box shell, nice and bright and white. Spin around and head north for a little bit. It's not going to be a very long beach walk this morning. I was really hoping to come out here and see Roy, say goodbye to him before I head out of town. It's going to be a rough two weeks without being able to go to the beach.
Lots of looks like lots of stuff right here along the the ridge line. Too many waves to see it. Water looks pretty clear though this morning. Pretty steep embankment here now. All along here. These waves have been slowly chipping away at the beach here. It's hard to tell in the camera, but that's actually a, a drop down there. Where I'm standing, that sand there is probably a good foot and a half high, or a good 18 inch higher than where I'm standing. Very close to high tide here. Pretty soon this little sandbar is going to be underwater. It almost is now. Let's see if there's anything crawling around out here. And Tina found a nice sand dollar out here the other day. And gosh, Monday, Linda found that, was it Monday or Sunday? Linda found that awesome shark's tooth on Sunday. That was really cool. Nothing out here. Monday, I was talking with one of the volunteers here. And his theory is all this dredging they're doing down in Wiggins Pass and then dumping the sand out here, out of that barge out there. They pump it down here and they're dumping it all along the shoreline. That's gonna really mess up the shelling just going to create a barrier the shells won't come up to the shore they're going to get stuck way out there so you're going to have to do your shelling out where that barge is <laughs> that's going to suck well the tide is definitely moving in here Isn't that beautiful
nothing on the sandbar. Sometimes you might find a nice live lightning whelk buried in the sand. The tide's just a little too high. A little seagulls. A little piece of worm rock out here. It's always fun to look at the worm rock. normally where I'd run into Roy right here like I said he's probably at home working on getting that book finished up I know we've got some Facebook friends that are gonna be traveling down here I'm sorry I'm gonna miss you Coming down for their summer vacations. So fun meeting you folks face to face out here on the beach. It's really incredible how many people have come together through these beach walks. How many friendships have been formed. Osprey up there in the nest. Can't see them. I could hear some chirping up there. I don't know what's going on with those two. If they got eggs up there or what. Or if there's any babies. Kind of hard to see. I'll zoom in there. There's the nest up at the top of the tree. I heard somebody in there, but I don't see any little heads popping out. Come on, anybody home? Yeah. They're up there. At least one Osprey's there. Look at the weather forecast, it said clear skies. <laughs> Doesn't look too clear to me. Maybe I was looking at a different Naples. Maybe it was Naples, Italy. There's an osprey up there, perched up on top of the tree. See him over at the very tippy top there? There's an osprey. Cool birds, those ospreys. That's not, I don't think that's the one chirping. I can't tell. Can't see his face. But there's the nest right down. Where is it? Over here somewhere. Ah, where's that nest? I can't find the nest. Yeah, get back. 
and then zoom in. The osprey's right up there. And then there's the nest right over there. Yeah, it's hard to see that nest with everything behind it there. Right in the center of the screen is the nest. And then that osprey was right up, up on the top of that branch there. Not neat, there's no light on them. You can hear them falling out. Yeah, it looks like all the good shells are out here in the water. I can't see them with these waves. Boy, really, really quiet out here this morning. No people out here yet. I haven't seen a soul out here. Just me and the ospreys. People way down. I see a ranger slowly heading up here. Come on, I'd love to find one moon shell or something before I head out for vacation. Nice little cockle shells all over the place. These little cockles. cockle shells. There's lots of them here on the beach. Look at them all. Right here. There's four of them just piled up right here. Four little cockle shells. Little slippers. Our little slipper shells. Always have to show everybody a slipper shell. Yeah, it looks like a little slipper when you flip it over. It's like the end of the shells. <laughs> Again, it's the tide's coming in, so a lot of the shells are out in the water right now. We all know that low tide's the best time to come out and do your shelling. There's a little snowy egret. Good morning. It's little yellow feet.
wish I knew how many sea turtle nests there were out here. Spotting anything. Spotting anything. All little tiny shells. Boy. Comes Terry. One of our park rangers. Hi Terry. Picking up trash on the beach. Sadly, that's what they spend a lot of their time doing in the morning, picking up trash. We got a crawl over here. Doesn't look like she did anything. Unusual to come up this part of the beach here. Looks like she went up, up the dune over there. It's really hard to see the, see the tracks. You just barely see the return crawl tracks right there. Lots of little shells piled up here, but they've been here for quite a while. Like a little more beach is getting washed away up here. I don't know what all this this black stuff in the water, it's like little wood chips. I don't know exactly what it is, but I know it has something to do with the dredging. It's getting stirred up. You know, it's probably stuff that's been buried for hundreds of years and the dredging churns it up. Old, you know, tree branches and things that settled to the bottom and start decaying. Well, it's nothing that's toxic just ugly to look at. Can't wait till I get this done with this dang dredging operation. It's like a crab trap or something washed up on the beach up ahead of me. Let's see what that is. There's a big buoy bouncing around in the waves. Go, go check that out, and then I gotta head back and call it a morning.
what that is. Some kind of buoy up here. Any nice shells out here. Really hard to see with the waves. kind of marker so I'm sure it's something that washed up from the dredging deal here one of their markers it actually looks like part of the anchor for the barge huh that's what the anchor for the barge it's out there that pumps the sand that's sitting way out there. That's what the anchor looks like. Huh. Wonder if it broke free. There's a nice little cockle. Nice little cockle shell. These little cockles are neat. Yeah, there's a fighting conch. A really light colored Florida fighting conch. Nice colors though. Our shell trees over there. More and more people are hanging shells over here. going to turn around here. We're up at the north end. We got a lot of work to do here. Let's see one of the temporary channel markers. They put temporary channel markers here while they're dredging. I see one of them is washed up on the beach up there. This has some pretty strong currents out there. things washing up on the beach. See that, see that red marker right up there?
Well, it is time to turn around. Head back down the beach. Maybe something to wash up. Something exciting. like they're pulling the hose out that pumps that sand. Hmm. Oh well, let's turn around and walk back down to area four, back to the boardwalk where we came out. I'll try to keep my eyes open for something here. Try to spot something that's really tough with these waves. There are a bunch of shells right off there, right along. You can see them in between the waves, but it's pretty much impossible to spot something and grab it. An old lightning whelk. Piece of an old lightning whelk. A few people start to show up now on the beach. Maybe even Roy. By George. Here comes Roy. We're going to get to chat with Roy quick. I'm sure he's got some good news to share with us. It is steamy out here. It's probably over 80 now. High humidity. There's Roy walking towards us. Hey, Rob, how are you doing this morning? Where's your hat? Good no hat? You. No hat this morning. Oh, yeah, I got tucked in my belt. Uh, <laughs> Don't need it just yet. Not yet. Hey, good to see you. Yeah. You're going on vacation as yep. starting tomorrow, huh? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> well, I'll sure miss you down here. So did you get your, th your book on Amazon? Well, just about. Boy, did he work as Dave. He's a you know a math teacher. Uh-huh. And he's into the computer. Man, oh, man. Four hours we worked yesterday morning. Really? Yeah, all the ins and outs. But it is still isn't quite, quite there. You're going to come over tomorrow morning again. Hopefully get it. Oh, that'll be great. We wanted to edit the book somehow or other, take some things out, change some things around, and and uh, he was working on that. But anyway, uh, oh, I can't great. believe this. Amazon, a hundred million people. Right. Watch that. A hundred million mm -hmm. throughout the whole world. Can you believe it? Yeah. The exposure my book will have is unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> And so, did, did you get the message? We sent you a message when he was there. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Whatever I mean, you want to do. Yeah. 
He said it would uh, give you a lot of benefit too because a lot more people would be watching. Or something. I mean, he could put the link into this to our Facebook page. That's where people then people can watch us and see the the man behind the book. You know, the, he can share the link for the Southwest Florida Television page on Facebook. Okay, I don't That'd really know good. how that works, but well, he he should know how to do that. So I can tell him he can put in a link or something. Well, yeah, share. Tell him that they can see see you and me on Facebook and put the link in to the Southwest Florida Television page. That'd be good. Okay. Then people would get to see you. They get to see the author. Okay. I think they'd get a kick out of that. Okay, so I'll <laughs> tell them then that he can go ahead and do that. Then, yeah. Uh, yeah. You don't need to have to be around for that. Well, he just copies the link off of Facebook. Yeah. That'd be good. So he puts in a link. Is that what he talked about on the phone yeah. to you? Yeah. Good. Okay. I'll have him do that then. Yeah, that'd be great. And he was talking about copywriting the book. I thought that was a big operation, but he said uh -huh. it just to five, ten bucks or something. Yep. Yeah, there's oh. Creator's Vault. There's several places you can copyright at. <laughs> That's nothing. Good. Well, it was quite thrilling, um, all the ins and outs of the whole thing to get yeah. it on Amazon. So we're just about there. So how's the printing going? Well, that's. Uh, I talked to them too, in fact. I had to call them to have them forward the, the uh, proof so that uh, Dave Great. could look it over. And that's the proof he's needed using to edit to put into the Amazon thing. Gotcha. Very good. So it's a kind of a big go round, but it's thrilling when if a hundred thousand people come. hundred million. A hundred million. I can't believe it. A hundred million. Well, that's how many shop at Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My gosh. Unbelievable. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah, it'll be thrilling. So, we're... So uh, how much does Amazon get? Uh, they get uh, 30%. 30%. There yeah. you go. And I dropped the price down to uh, 695 695 Yeah. And what about all those people that are paying 20 bucks? Well, they're getting a, a hard copy I'm mailing to them. I have to get that printed and in the mailer and postage and I don't know what all. So it's six ninety five on Amazon. Yeah. Well, that's a good deal. See, I don't have to get it printed or anything. Right. Then they just automatically put the money into my bank account, hopefully, and that's how it all works, I guess. Well, there you go. Perfect. So, how many copies, hard copies, are you getting? A hundred. Just a hundred hard copies? Yeah. From the printer. No. Because that's about what I've sold so far. Oh, okay. And uh, I'll be sending those out. Well, I didn't think they'd print that small of a quantity. Yeah, they'll do 100, uh, 200, 3, 4, 5, oh, 7. Interesting. There. They're very, very accommodating. Nice. It costs more for 100 per book. But oh, that, yeah. That's I'm sure. But uh, I didn't know how many more. Actually, I got 60, 61 sold. So I'll there have 40 go. books. Left over. And then, <clears throat> yeah, so you got, there you go, that'll be good. Have some extra hard copies. Yeah, and I can get them reprinted if, uh, you know, if need right. be, so. You need to keep, when you get them, you need to keep some of them in your car so people, when they're out here, I'm sure people coming to the beach will want to get one. Well, I hope so. It's been quite a thrill. I never did anything like this before, and it, it's been a thrilling operation. And now this Amazon thing is kind of, kind of mine staggering to think a hundred million people are going yep. to be able to and then we had to get categories and we have to give a kind of a sales pitch for the book and we had to get all that devised and, and he's changing the cover so the cover looks because that's what they're going to see on amazon before they right. purchase it is the cover are going to hope to do that up a little bit the color and i don't know what so all. this guy's an expert huh yeah he's quite good at it <laughs> well and he's just helping me out it's sure good of him Yep. Yeah, Dave Henry is his name as he teaches, uh, teaches math. Well, that's nice of him. Yeah. He's doing all the things that I said we should have done from the start. <laughs> yeah, that's what you were talking yeah. about, but I didn't know how to do it, but uh, he's taking care of it. Oh, well, good for him. So I hope you make a million. <laughs> so what's the word for the to hold everybody over for two weeks? <laughs> we need a, some inspiration. I had, I had a good word for you, but that... I haven't seen you for a few days. Oh no, you lost it? <laughs> <laughs> did I did I have the word of strenuous? Um, 
I think we had a bit of strenuous. We had strenuous. Okay. Something, come on, I'm putting you on the spot here. Well, I've pretty well disseminated all my words. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> You're a wealth of words and wisdom. <laughs> you got to leave us with something. We can't leave us hanging for two weeks. Well, <laughs> well here's, a, here's a thing to think about for two weeks. Okay. Enjoy God's love during the journey. Enjoy God's love. Yeah, in the there journey. Because he's watching over us in this journey, and it's a fabulous journey. And so we'll be on in this journey for another two weeks while you're gone, and we'll miss you. But we'll be hanging in there down here, and everybody is enjoying the journey. Perfect. And God's love, God's watching over us in this journey, and it's a real thrill, it's a real honor to have him watching over us. So, Isn't so we have to behave accordingly. Yeah. Be yeah, thankful and appreciative, appreciative and be good to our fellow friends on earth and, and good to everything that God's provided us on earth. Absolutely. Be thankful. It's just, it's just well, that's some good words of advice. Fabulous journey and we're honored to be in this journey. So we got to make the most of it. We got to make the most of it. Not only enjoy it, but go for it in some worthwhile <laughs> endeavor. Absolutely. You don't know unless you try. All right. So, all right. Well, darn. We're not going to get a harmonica tune. We're too far away from the beach, from the, the chair here. But well, I can amble back with no, you. No, I got. A, I'm on a really short time frame here this morning. I got so much, so many loose ends. I got to get tied up here. Yeah, I imagine so. I'm glad I got. I caught you out here. I was wondering what happened. Yeah, last couple days I haven't seen you here. You were late this morning. Oh, yeah, was I ever. Well, yesterday I was so early. You really? know, I get up about 3.30 in the morning to get out here for sunrise. And, <clears throat> and when I got around the corner, they were running that dredge. Oh. And it was so loud, it just dinned your ears in. I couldn't, really? I couldn't enjoy standing out there for sunrise because the dredge was making so much noise. So I headed on back and I said my prayers back there. But... So this morning I figured, heck, if they're going to run that dredge so yeah. loud, why, why get up so early? Of course, now now they're not running the dredge. Nope. <laughs> I don't it know. Goes. It looks like they're moving the pipe again or something. I don't uh, know. Oh, speaking of that pipe, I went for a swim yesterday, and they, they were dredging. The water was coming out the right side of that thing, so I went around behind it, and the big old hose was there. And I skinnied over the hose. Uh-oh. Yeah, and there was some sharp barnacles on oh, it. Yeah. And I didn't quite skinny far enough, so I. Oh, you cut yourself did a up. Nice job on my leg. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that thing is uh, dangerous. That big old hole. And it was pumping when you were. Yeah, so you see, it was pumping out the right side, so I went behind it where the hose comes down. And uh -huh. I thought the hose would be kind of down deep in the water, but it wasn't. It was real. Hi there. Hey, really. Yeah. It was real shallow, and when I kind of swam over the hose, I dinged myself on Be careful it. out there. You're not supposed oh. to be going around that thing. I heard the other day there was kids out there jumping off it. Oh, they climbed up on it? Yeah. Oh, over yeah. the weekend, there was kids jumping off the darn thing. Well, you know, on the right-hand side, it was real low to the water. I don't know why. You could almost climb up on uh. it, I suppose. Well, anyway, it'd be nice if they ever get done. It would be nice. I'd like to see that thing move on. So today is the first day of summer and the longest day. Of summer? 21st or was it yesterday? Yeah, today is the 21st. Yep, the 21st. So wow. this is the first day of summer and it's the uh, uh, spring solstice, I think. Oh, the longest day? Longest day. Wow. Well, good. I got more time to get things done. Oh, yeah. So do you. Time. <laughs> well, the sun can, coming up a, about a minute and a half or two minutes earlier every day. Yep. It was a pretty one this morning. Lots of colors when I looked out the window. I saw the colors from home. It looked pretty nice. I should have gotten down here, but that barge is making so much noise. I know. Just, it just disrupts everything there. down here. I'm sure it's disrupting the dolphins. Well, they all get done Did you someday. see any in the past couple Not of days? Not this morning. Oh, well, yeah, yesterday up in the... Uh, up in the cut, I think. Oh, yeah, Wiggins Pass, before, even yeah. with the barge up there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it's I good to know they're still here. Yeah, they're still around. 
Well, Roy, what time is it? You know there? Well, it's 21, uh, it's uh, 7.55. Yep, I gotta get moseying on there. there. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Well, bless you, Rob. Hopefully, hopefully there'll be some people that'll share some pictures and even maybe get some video and share it on my, right here for us while I'm gone. That'd be wonderful. I want to encourage people to do that. Take some pictures, come chat with you and share it with us. Ha, ha. I know we've got, there's some, there's people saying they're coming down from up north to visit. So, well, that'd be wonderful. And they're all. But how would they share it without you with your little camera? They thing? just they use their own and put it on here. Oh, I see. Yeah, they can do that. That's amazing. Then, I, then there's another page I have just called Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. They can put pictures on that too and share that. their videos. Ah. So yeah, there's ways they can share it, so everybody can get their beach fix while I'm gone. Very <laughs> good. And they and. They want mostly they want to just keep in touch with you. They don't care about me. <laughs> they just oh, want to know the, you're still you're the there. Important one. So uh, where are you going then on your vacation? <laughs> oh, all around. Going to Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia. Yeah. Family up there? Yep. Oh, wonderful. yeah. We're gonna be out of touch with the world for a few days, for three or four days. Well, you'll have a nice time. Yep. You've been working hard, and so now take some time off. We're going to one of my uncle's cabins up in Pennsylvania, up in northern Pennsylvania. No kidding. Yeah. Hey, there's that... nothing up there. Oh, what a blast. No internet, no nothing. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> no phones. Yeah, that's great. No yep. telephone. Yep. Just chop some wood and put it in the. Fireplace. There you go. Yep. Can't be bad. No. Get back, get back to the, their basics. <laughs> Take along your bug spray. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My bear spray. <laughs> bear spray. Yeah, uh, they're lurking around too, huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. that's great. Well, that'll be quite a vacation. All right, Roy. Well, you enjoy yourself this morning, and I'll see you in two weeks. I'll God sure. willing. we sure look forward to it. And by then, the book should be out. Well, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. This Dave has been wonderful, all he's doing. Yeah. Right? Well, make sure you give him my email address. You've got that. Give him, yeah. give him my email address so he can email me. I think I've got it, don't so, I? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. So I can get the um, the link for Amazon to the book and share that with everybody. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. Good. The Amazon link to the book. Yep. Okay, and then go. remember, tell him if he want, he can share on Amazon, he can share the link to the Facebook page here, the Southwest Florida Television Facebook. Because I know people will get a kick out of being able to see the author. That'd be great. That would be oh, great. That'd be wonderful. <laughs> and then, and we can add little tidbits to the book through Facebook. <laughs> Give them little nuggets. That would be wonderful. That'd be quite a thrill. Then the next thing we got to do is we got to record you just reading the book and put it on audio for yeah. the people that can't can't read very well. Oh, can't that's see. a thought. Yeah. yeah. Books on tape. They called it. Now they don't use tape. Oh, but audio books. They call it an, aud an audio book. So we could do yeah, an audio. I was dreaming a little bit about maybe down the road uh, writing another book about w growing wildflowers. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think I think Emily would probably do a better job at that. Well, I was going to consult her and get all of her information and incorporated in a book. Yeah, I think there's quite a few books on that. Growing wildflowers. I think people want your wisdom and guidance. Maybe you should send them a flower with the book. Well, that'd be nice. Press it in between the pages. <laughs> All right, Roy. You have a wonderful day. Too, I'll Ron. see you soon. Have a great, great yep. trip. Right Stay out of trouble. Place. Stay off the hose, off the barge. Yeah, Watch yourself out there. Okay. <laughs> Behave yourself. <laughs> All right, tally ho, Roy. God bless. God bless you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh gosh. I'll see you later. Yep, always, Roy. What a gorgeous morning out here. That sun's coming up over the trees now. Really getting bright. family out here doing some shelling. Hey, Rob, how are you doing? Hey, hi, how are you? Pretty good, all the way from Toledo, Ohio. Big Toledo, fan. oh wow, awesome. 
We're gonna be up, uh, not, we're gonna be up around Sandusky here in a couple days. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> yeah. for what? Uh, just vacation, go see some of my wives' relatives. You gonna go to Cedar Point? Well, what do you think? <laughs> of course, <laughs> gotta go to Cedar Point. That was the only way she could get me to go there the first time to see her friends. Oh, that's awesome. She told me about Cedar Point, and I'm like, I'll go. That's awesome. <laughs> well, that's, so how long are you guys down for? Oh, we were down for two weeks. Uh, we're leaving Saturday. Oh, okay. So we come to Wiggins, see if we can find you guys. Yeah, yeah. This, this is it. I'm out of here, for, and I won't be back for two weeks now after this. So perfect oh, wow. timing. Yeah. Nice. And Roy, did you see Roy? Uh, we're going to... Yeah. Track down and catch him. He gets such a big kick out of beating people through Facebook. He, he still doesn't understand how it works, but <laughs> he gets a kick out of it. But well, it's so nice to meet you. Enjoy your vacation. Huh? See you in Ohio. Oh, there you go. All right, take care. Oh, that is so cool. I was just talking about that earlier, about meeting people here at the beach through Facebook, and there you go. Some folks from Toledo. That is so cool. That is awesome. Let me let me get your picture. Let me get a, a group picture of you before you take off. <laughs> Wish I could have got Roy. That was so neat. Now I am running really late. Part of the barge, I think that's part of the anchor from the barge broke free. Washed up on the beach, that's not good. Well, it was nice getting to see Roy before I leave. Always nice chatting with him. Didn't do, didn't find much in the way of shelling this morning. Not many shells on the beach. We're at high tide. You can see barely any beach left here now at high tide. Another hour when the tide's all the way in, there won't be any beach here. It's so pretty when the sun comes up. It really brings out the color of the water. We actually had a sea turtle crawl up here on the beach last night up here at the north end. That's very unusual. They haven't been coming up this way. All the crawls have been down to the south. The little snowy egret. Where were those tracks? There was a crawl somewhere around here, right in here. It's really hard to see the tracks because all these shells. There's two, these are the return tracks right here. She just went up and kind of spun around up by the dune and came back. I don't, there was no nest. I don't think she even attempted to dig a nest here. Here's, these are the tracks where she came out of the water right here. But again, you can't even see them because of all the shells. I have no idea where she went.
She actually, pretty amazing. It looks like she actually made it. She climbed up this dune here, around behind that sign, and just kind of slid right back down the dune here. It's amazing how they can crawl up these dunes. But she didn't make any attempt to dig a nest there. Well, that's a pretty steep, look at how steep that is. To imagine a sea turtle climbing up that. Wow. She had the right idea though. You, the higher up on these dunes they go, the better off that nest is gonna be. There might be a nest down the south end of the beach. I see the ranger way down. Now the sun's out, look at the color of the water. Isn't that gorgeous? Big difference from when we were walking up earlier. Well, if I get a chance this evening, maybe I'll share the sunset with you. Depending on if I get everything done, I need to get taken care of. Yeah, I think the rangers are up. Let's see if I can zoom in. I think the rangers are down the beach there. Possibly marking off another sea turtle nest. Down where that orange buggy is down in area three. Very cool. But I was as I was saying if my schedule permits and weather permits I'll maybe come out here and maybe get a little video of this evening's sunset. So you want to check for check back later for that later tonight. Sunset's around 8.20. Yeah, another little, nice little kitten's paw down here. Little kitten paw. I gotta get rolling. I appreciate everybody watching. Remember, nobody pays me to come out and do this. I love doing this. I love sharing our beautiful beach with you. But if you wanna make a little contribution, it definitely helps out. It helps with the phone bill. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little later. Every little bit helps. To those of you that have sent a little something, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Well, there you have it. I'll be back in a couple weeks. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. I know you're going to find something you like, and when you do, hit the like button, hit the share button. Hey, have a great Thursday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.